everyone, welcome to ABC Interactive English. I am Nina. Hello, Nina. Hello, Hello. everybody. I am Shane. Yes. And today we are doing part B, dealing with bullies at work. At work. Yes. You know, speaking of. Not only was I bullied at school,、okay. I feel like I get bullied at work、really? by you by what? all the time. By me? Yeah. When did I ever bully you? You say things about what I'm wearing. You say that my hair is messy.、Uh-huh. You say that I'm、You're、too short. short. Right. I'm just、it's、so mean. I'm just noticing things. I'm not trying to. Only you. Well, it、uh, makes me feel bad. Really? Yeah. But usually you laugh. That's just me pretending <laughs> to be hurt. No, I'm so sorry. Okay, I will definitely think about being a better person. Yeah. Have you ever bullied anybody else? <laughs> oh, actually, not at work. You're the only one I bully、uh, at work. I think you bully some other people too. No, not、yeah. me. <laughs> at school, I remember there was a boy who would always wear the same shirt to class because in America, in a lot of foreign countries, you don't have a uniform that you wear, so people、mm, can wear whatever, whatever they want. And he would wear the same shirt, and it was kind of dirty. And it had a really big pocket. Like this is a normal size pocket. The pocket was like his whole front of his shirt was、mm-hmm. a pocket. And I would make fun of him. I would call it his locker shirt. You're so because mean. Because he can put so many things in there. Or I would say that he was a kangaroo. You are so mean, Shane. <laughs> Shame on you. I, I thought it was funny, but yes, it was bullying. Yeah, you like making fun of what people wear.、Mm, okay, I'm definitely going to change myself. Yeah, I realized I'm a bully. Yeah, and you should start by changing what you wear because you are not a very good dresser、oh、either. Oh my goodness! Let's get into today's dialogue. <laughs> Oops. Natalie and Mitch are in a department meeting. The new toothbrush design didn't bring in many sales at first. I told you that would happen. There's nothing wrong with the old model. As I was saying, sales soon increased after the advertisements started. It's a good thing that I told you to release those right away. Okay, so we are in part B, which is dealing with bullies at work. If you remember, <laughs> no. If you remember, in part A, we were dealing with bullies at school. Yes. But hey, after you get out of school, it's less common, but you can still get bullied at work. Yeah, it happens. It happens to me every day with Shane. <laughs> oh boy. Just kidding. Okay, so Natalie and Mitch are in a department meeting. Okay, so I'll be Natalie, and I guess I am going to be the bully. Who is Mitch? Exactly, it makes sense. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> so, the new toothbrush design didn't bring in many sales at first. So Natalie is starting her presentation, right? Right. Okay, and、so、talking about the sales of a new toothbrush. Yes. Okay, so Mitch says, "I told you that would happen." There's nothing wrong with the old model. Ah,、huh, okay. That's annoying. She just said it didn't bring in much sale, right? Right. Okay, so let's find out. The toothbrush. So a toothbrush is a small brush with a handle used for cleaning your teeth. Makes sense, right?、Yes. <laughs> it's for your teeth, so it's a tooth, and if there's a brush, and you brush. Your teeth, exactly. Right, so you can brush your teeth with your toothbrush. Yeah. So, for example, he forgot his toothbrush when he went on vacation. Ah. Well, if you stay in a hotel, usually they have toothbrushes, toothbrushes for you to use. Yes. 
Okay, so we have another vocabulary word: model. So a model is like a design、mm -hmm. of something, or you could say a model is a type of product. Yeah. So, for example, if you have a smartphone, right? There's different models. Yes. So you could say this model smartphone I bought is really bad. Oh yeah. It's、okay. my invisible because you can't see it. <laughs> What、that's、would that the, be? Which model、problem. would that be? The you think? Invi Samsung Invisible. Okay, the Samsung Invisible you model. You can't see it. <laughs> All right, that, no wonder it's it's not great. <laughs> right. So Natalie says, as I was saying, sales soon increased after the advertisements started. Okay, so she didn't even. Finish her sentence, and Mitch interrupted just, her. Exactly, that's pretty rude. So rude.、Hmm. So sales increase. So the word increase is a verb, and it means to go up. So、mm -hmm. to become higher in number or size. Right. So for example, my salary increased after they fired Shane. <laughs> They fired me. <laughs> yeah, because you weren't doing a good job. So and... I shouldn't be here. Oh, from a different job? Yeah, from a different job, or from an <laughs> ideal universe, you know. Stop bullying me, okay? okay? Okay. So Mitch says it's a good thing that I told you to release those right away. <laughs> so Mitch is being very annoying、mm. and rude. Yeah. Yeah. So she is saying that the number of sales increased、right. after advertisements. And Mitch is taking credit and making her look bad. Saying, "Right,、well, saying it's because of me that the sales increased, right?" No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> so to release is a verb, which means to make something or like some information known to the public,、mm. right? Or you could also release a product. Yeah. To the public, or like even a song. Oh right, right. yeah, a, a song, new song, which is kind of like information,、yeah. right? So, for example, the newspaper released information about the holiday party. Okay. Okay, so it looks like Mitch. I don't know if it's quite bullying,、mm -hmm. just from what I heard, but he's. Definitely being rude. Yeah, very rude. Or maybe he does that to Natalie all the time and only、Possibly. to her. Possibly. Okay.、Yeah. Let's take a break and find out what happens after the break. All right. Actually, my team and I planned their release dates from the beginning. That was only after I reminded you, Mitch. You'll have time to comment after my presentation. If you can't respect that, I must ask you to leave. That won't be necessary. Welcome back, everybody. So before the break, we have Mitch and Natalie. Yes. Natalie is trying. <laughs> to give a presentation about sales of a toothbrush that they released, yes, right, and Mitch is giving her a difficult time. Yeah, he's constantly talking In,、yeah. and being rude,、he's、interrupting her. and not letting her finish what she's trying to say. Yeah, and he thinks that she. Doesn't listen to him, and that he has all the right answers,、mm -hmm. right? Okay, so what does Natalie continue to say? All right, so I think right before the break,、mm -hmm. Mitch took credit for releasing the advertisements, right? Right. So Natalie says, actually, my team and I plan their release dates from the beginning. Okay,、ah. so they planned it in the beginning already. So it's not because of Mitch, right?、Okay. But Mitch is not finished. <laughs> He says that was only after I reminded you. 
Oh my, Mitch is so annoying. <laughs> so remind as a verb is to make someone remember something.、Mm. Just like, for example, I always have to remind Shane how to do his job. Ah, okay. Sounds、yeah. like you need to be reminded not to bully your coworkers. <laughs> All right. So Natalie says, Mitch. You have time to comment after my presentation.、Okay. If you can't respect that, I must ask you to leave. Oh wow! Okay, so that's okay. a very firm yet professional way to ask him to respect her presentation and not speak all over it. Yes, he's being disrespectful,、mm -hmm. and he shouldn't keep. Talking while she's trying to give this presentation,、mm -hmm. so he thinks that it's only because he reminded her <laughs> that they needed to release that that they did it. But、yes. actually, that doesn't seem to be true.、Mm -hmm. Okay, so now Mitch says that won't be necessary. That means oh, I won't have to leave, right? So he decided to stop talking. And be Zip, his lip, exactly. <laughs> okay, so we have a verb here to comment. So to comment means to tell others what you think about something or someone. Oh, like when you comment on Facebook、ah, or、right. Instagram. Exactly. So, for example, you could say it's not true, but you could say. <laughs> Mark commented that Nina is a very good teacher. It's not true. I don't know what's wrong with Mark. Maybe <laughs> it's a different Nina. Excuse me. <laughs> I think I'm a great teacher. You're not just a very good teacher. You are an amazing teacher. Okay, that's more like it. I see that you're trying to be a better person.、I'm、trying. Okay. So presentation is the act of showing or explaining something to an audience to many people, right?、Mm -hmm. So in this case, the presentation was for work. Mm -hmm. Well,、yeah. that pre she's presenting something, which、yeah. means to give some information、mm -hmm. to an audience, which are the people who are in the meeting. Yes. Okay. So, for example, the speaker gave a great presentation about the new company policy. Okay. Okay. So we have another vocabulary word: necessary.、Mm. Okay, that's an adjective. If something is necessary. It is needed to do something,、yeah. or just needed for some reason.、Mm -hmm. So, for example, I'm talking to you. It's necessary to study English. Absolutely. The whole world must learn to speak English. Why is it necessary? Well, it can, we could argue. About if it's really necessary or not. Yeah. But if you learn English, you will definitely have a better chance when you get a job、mm. or to be able to communicate with people. Not for, from Taiwan. Not from Taiwan, because a lot of foreigners will also learn English besides their mother language. Yeah. So if I'm from Korea and you're from Japan. Maybe we will use English to communicate with、yeah. each other. That's true. All right. So now we've learned more about bullying at the workplace, right?、Mm -hmm. We hope that doesn't ever happen to you because that wouldn't be nice. Okay. And let's see what we have for part C. That will be next time. All right. See、Goodbye. you guys. Natalie and Mitch are in a department meeting. The new toothbrush design didn't bring in many sales at first. I told you that would happen. There's nothing wrong with the old model. As I was saying, sales soon increased after the advertisements started. It's a good thing that I told you to release those right away. Actually, my team and I planned their release dates from the beginning. That was only after I reminded you.
Mitch, you'll have time to comment after my presentation. If you can't respect that, I must ask you to leave. That won't be necessary. Hello, I'm Tina. We're looking at this lesson's key words. The first one, toothbrush. Toothbrush, 名词，牙刷。I need to buy a new toothbrush. 我需要买一只新的牙刷。下一个单词 ，model. Model, 名词，款式，型号。This smartphone model has a long battery life. 这款智慧型手机的电池寿命很长。Battery 指的就是电池。下一个单词 remind remind 动词提醒。Don't forget to remind me to pick up the laundry on my way home. 不要忘记提醒我回家路上去拿送洗的衣服。Laundry 指的是洗完的衣服。最后一个单词 comment comment 动词评论。She commented on the beautiful view during her trip to the mountains. 他去山区旅行的时候，对美丽的风景做出评论。接着，我们来看重点文法。第一个 ，bring in， 赚取、销量或者是营收等等。我们来看看这个例句 ：The shopping mall brings in a lot of money each year。这个商场每年带来许多营收。下一个文法 ，As I was saying， 正如我所说。这是用于讲述先前说过的话，所以要使用过去式。我们来看看这个例句 ：As I was saying earlier, we need to better prepare for tomorrow's meeting. 正如我之前说的，我们需要为明天的会议做更周全的准备。最后一个文法 ：From the beginning， 从一开始。Beginning 是名词，开始的意思。From the beginning, 强调事情发生的顺序。另一个常见的片语是 in the beginning， 则是强调事情开始的时候。我们先来看看 from the beginning 的例句。We need to plan this project carefully from the beginning. 我们需要从一开始就小心的计划这个专案。我们再来看看 in the beginning 的例句。In the beginning, Bella wasn't sure if she wanted to study abroad. 一开始 ，Bella 不确定是否想要出国留学。以上就是这一课的重点单词跟文法，我们下一课再见喽，拜拜。Today we are going to North Gate Station in Jai. It's located downtown Jai, and it has a lot of important story to it. It's actually the starting point of the Alishan Railway. It was also once named the Municipal Historic Site. Right now, it's used for tourism and transportation. But if you ever get a chance to go, there are a lot of cool art pieces outside of the station for you to check out. So let's go to North Gate Station. North Gate Station is located in downtown Jai. It was built using Taiwan red cypress in 1910 during the Japanese colonial period. This traditional, elegant station delivers a lot of glorious historical events. At the time, Northgate Station was the starting point of the Alishan Forest Railway. It was also used as a cargo distribution center for the Alishan Railway. In addition, daily necessities were transported along the Alishan Railway up to the mountain from here. During the Japanese colonial period, forestry development was the most important income source. As a result, the area around Northgate Station was very prosperous. In 1973, Bayman Station, the new Northgate Station, was opened. The old Northgate Station was used for the purpose of shipments and maintenance. Its rustic appearance and traditional facilities are seen as considerable cultural assets. In 1998, the Jai City Government included it as a municipal historic site. Now the station is used for tourism and transportation. Outside the station are some public art pieces such as Calling Landmark, 
space and time corridors, and eco-artistic wall. Northgate Station brings the consciousness of railway culture together. I hope you guys really enjoy learning about the Northgate Station and some interesting facts as well. If you ever want to get a taste of the Taiwanese culture and history, make sure you pay a visit to the Northgate Station. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.